All right, so obviously, and as you should be aware, Midas Presents The Floor is Lava is currently an LTM game mode in Fortnite right now until at least the beginning of April. So if you've played this game, it's super, super sweaty, one of the sweatiest game modes I've ever played for an LTM. But with that said, it does come with a few nice secret Easter eggs that are actually really cool. However, if you're playing the game to win, chances are you haven't noticed these yet. So in terms of pickaxes in Fortnite, we do have some gold ones. Some of them are almost solid gold, such as the gold digger right here. But most, if not all, of the gold pickaxes do have some other color scheme to them. Now, likewise for pickaxes, some of them actually are golden rarity, aka legendary. For example, the brand new Hades pickaxe is gold. We got the Photonic Striker. There's not very many. The Spectra Slasher, the Winter's Onslaught. I didn't even know that one was gold. And then the Zen Axe. That's it. So five pickaxes out of how many do I have? Let's see. 1,125. Only five of them are golden or legendary rarity. But again, they're not solid gold. Now, I'm sure some of you have noticed this by now, but if you go into Midas Presents The Floor is Lava, there is a way to turn your entire loadout gold. I'm talking pickaxe, I'm talking even the blueprints to build, and of course, your weapons and your weapon wrap. So in order to demonstrate this, we need a big pickaxe. So I was thinking, what is a good pickaxe that we could use that would turn solid gold and would look just absolutely amazing? Like I said, I have over a thousand to pick from, but then it dawned on me. I did a video back in the day about the largest pickaxe in the game. And if you remember what it was, it's the P5000 Power Loader Arm. Look at the size of this pickaxe. It's a yellowish gold color to begin with, but we're gonna turn it solid gold. Now, just in case you forgot how big this pickaxe is, let's go to the lobby here, and we're gonna do point it out. Watch this, brace yourselves, because it's gonna take up the entire screen. Here you go. Look at the size of this pickaxe. Can you imagine turning this solid gold and doing the pointed out emote? This is the largest pickaxe in the game, and it's got the coolest name as well. I love it. Okay, so let's hop into a Flores Lava match, and I'll show you exactly what you have to do in order to get this effect. So obviously we do have to wait for the lava to arise, so let's grab some weapons, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've got a few items to test here. So first of all, I got one weapon without a sight. You can see my wrap is clearly red and white. We got the minis here. They're obviously blue in a jar. We got the Flowberry, which is purple. Hades Chain is a little bit of gold and green. And then the Klinger is this blackish silver color. Now here's what the blueprints look like. You can see that they're solid blue and white. And then lastly, here's the pickaxe. Again, ginormous P5000 power loader arm. Amazing. And here's the pointed out with it. So this is what everything looks like by itself. Now I'm actually not even sure if some of these items such as the minis or the flowberries will change. I kind of want to pick up the shockwaves too and the bandages, but I don't have enough room. I gotta at least show one weapon, so I gotta keep this. And I kinda wanna see if the Chains of Hades turn as well. First of all, watch the animation as the gold slowly trickles up a ramp. It's just absolutely amazing. I love the detail that they added here with this golden lava. It just slowly creeps up. I don't remember the lava doing that before by itself, but with the gold, it's just incredible. I love it. And you still got that burning orange color scheme in the distance. I just love how it slowly creeps up a ramp. I can't remember if it does anything special on a platform here. Let's see. Looks like a whole bunch of Velveeta cheese. I love this. Whoa, it just devoured that. So to turn everything gold, all you have to do is jump in the lava one single time. Remember? My gun is red and white, pickaxe is normal, blueprints are blue. I'm gonna touch the lava one single time. Let's see if we can get the transition instantly. I think it might pull the pickaxe out when you get the hot feet effect. Here we go. No. Okay, so I touched it twice. Now let's check our weapons. So as you can see, we now have the solid gold weapon. Absolutely beautiful. How about the chain? Ah, uh, I don't think that one changed at all. Let's just see what happens when you drop a weapon into the lava. I want to see that as well. Whee! Ooh, nice. 
So the Klinger didn't seem to change either. That's a bummer. I thought that would change. All right, let me get to circle real quick. There it is. Look at that. As Stu pointed out, an absolutely solid gold pickaxe. That is beautiful. Tell me that's not awesome. I can't tell if it messes with the contrail at all because I can't turn it night and day. But that is beautiful. Oh, did you see it spin around there too? That's awesome. We still have this. We still have the gold blueprints. So you can turn any pickaxe you have into this solid gold awesomeness. Blueprints, weapons. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the healables turn at all. Did we try the Flowberry? No, Flowberry doesn't change, neither do the Clingers. So just weapons, pickaxe, and blueprints. It's actually really cool to see the gold blueprints as well. But nothing beats the golden P5000 power loader arm. Look at that. Love it. So there you go. Try it out yourself. Enjoy the all golden loadout plus the golden pickaxe. See if you can find the best golden pickaxe in the game. This has got my vote so far, but see if you can find one that's even better. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.